Newman Haynes Clanton, better known as Old Man Clanton, was a famous cattle rancher and father of four notorious outlaw sons. One of his sons died in the famous gunfight at the O.K. Corral. The Clanton family, especially Billy Clanton and Ike Clanton, were embroiled in a series of disputes in Cochise County, Arizona Territory. These conflicts ranged from carriage robbers to cattle theft. Billy Clanton and Ike Clanton were both present in the fateful gunfight in which Billy was killed. While old man Clanton himself faces charges of stealing cattle from Mexican ranchers and reselling them in the United States, historical records show that old man Clanton was involved in the Skeleton Canyon Massacre of Mexican smugglers. In an act of revenge, Mexican rurales were said to have ambushed and killed him and a group of cowboys during the Guadalupe Canyon Massacre. These events demonstrate the brutal and lawless nature of this period in the Wild West. Remember to hit the like button because it helps us a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to not miss the upcoming interesting videos. Newman Clanton was born in 1816 in Davidson County, Tennessee. He married Mariah Sexton Kelso on January 5, 1840 in Callaway County, Missouri. Together, they care for a family of five sons and two daughters, John Wesley, Phineas Finn Fay, Joseph Ike Isaac, Mary Elise, Esther Ann, Peter Alonzo, and William Billy Harrison. Tragically, Peter Alonzo passed away as an infant. Newman Clanton was formerly a slave owner and plantation owner in Tennessee before moving his family to Missouri. During the next two decades, they ventured west and southwest. They tried their luck in gold mining in California before settling in Dallas, Texas around 1853. In Texas, they run a large ranch and where their last two children, Esther and Alonzo, were born. During their residency in Texas, both Newman and eldest son John bravely joined the Confederate Home Guard at the outbreak of the American Civil War. Newman was eventually freed due to his age. When the war ended in 1865, Newman led his family to the Arizona Territory and temporarily settled near Fort Bowie, near Wilcox, Arizona. In 1866, they moved again to San Buenaventura, California. Sadly, after 26 years of marriage, Mariah passed away. In 1871, he decided to move the family to Port Guayneme, California. In 1873, Newman returned to the Arizona Territory and settled in the Gila River Valley. There, he acquired a sizable piece of land near Camp Thomas, either by direct purchase or by concession. Unfortunately, his ambitious plan to found a new town did not come to fruition. However, Newman persisted in his livestock efforts and his children soon joined him in Arizona. During the process of frequent relocation, the Clanton family became involved in many illegal activities. His eldest son, John Wesley, was convicted of desertion during the Civil War. Around this time, they became known for their theft and brutality and followed them to Arizona. In 1877, Newman Clanton decided to sell the farm near Camp Thomas. However, Billy Clanton often returned to visit the old farm. Melvin Jones, whose father bought the farm from Newman, recounts that it was on this ranch in 1878 that Billy Clanton first met Frank McLaurie and Tom McLaurie. The McLaurie brothers recently acquired land in the Sulphur Springs Valley to build their own cattle ranch. The Clanton family is believed to be part of the group of outlaw cowboys who crossed the Mexico border to steal cattle and then to sell them to miners in Cochise County. Tom and Frank McLaurie were involved in this illegal trade, working with smugglers to trade in stolen cattle. This activity thrived because the Mexican government levied high taxes on goods at the border creating a lucrative smuggling business. The region's fast-growing extractive industry requires a substantial beef supply, leading to an increased demand for cattle. 
while some ranchers like the legendary Henry Hooker raise beef cattle legally in the relatively dry area around Tombstone, more manpower is needed for the same number of livestock and to protect them from Indian attack. The Clantons chose a different route by stealing cattle from across the Mexican border. Clanton and his sons orchestrated the sale of these stolen animals in the United States. Finn and John Clanton managed the family farm. Finn was frequently arrested for herding and theft, although he was never convicted. In the early 1880s, Clanton Ranch attracted many notorious outlaw cowboys, including such individuals as Pony Dial, Curly Bill Brocious, and brothers Frank McLaurie and Tom McLaurie. Notably, Johnny Ringo, who participated in the Mason County War and was associated with the Texas Rangers and gunman Scott Cooley, also became close to the Clanton family. In July 1879, some thieves carried out an attack on a farm located north of Sonora, Mexico, resulting in the tragic deaths of several residents. In pursuit of these killers, the Mexican rurales led by Francesco Neri crossed the border into Arizona. However, they were unexpectedly ambushed, resulting in the captain being executed by the attackers. Johnny Ringo later claimed to be one of the perpetrators, which included Old Man Clanton, his two sons, Ike and Billy, along with Curly Bill Brocious, Indian Charlie, Frank and Tom McLaurie, Jim Hughes, Rattlesnake Bill, Joe Hill, Charlie Snow, Jake Gage, and Charlie Thomas. After these events, Old Man Clanton put his sons in charge of the ranch located on the San Pedro River and moved to a new ranch in New Mexico's Animas Valley. This new ranch is located just a mile from the border between the United States and Mexico, suggesting he could be involved in cross-border cattle raids targeting Sonora, Mexico. Two years later, in July 1881, Curly Bill received word that a group of Mexican smugglers carrying silver intended to enter the United States via Skeleton Canyon. He plans the robbery. Joining him are Johnny Ringo, Old Man, Ike, and Billy Clanton, the McLaury brothers, Billy Grounds, and Zwing Hunt. The group hid in the rocks above the trail, awaiting the arrival of the smugglers. As the smugglers pushed deeper into the canyon, the cowboys began a lightning attack, resulting in the deaths of six of the 19 men. The remaining individuals were also killed when they tried to flee. On August 12, 1881, Clanton and six other men set out on a journey to herd stolen livestock sold to him by Curly Bill through the Guadalupe Canyon near the Mexican border. At dawn on the trail, they were suddenly ambushed by a group of Mexicans sent by Commander Felipe Neri. This fateful event later became known as the Guadalupe Canyon Massacre. Five men were killed in the ambush. Clanton, who was preparing breakfast, died right next to the fire. In the group, only drovers Henry Earnshaw and Billy Byers were lucky to survive, along with Dick Gray, who helped bury the dead. Both Earnshaw and Byers testified that the attackers were of Mexican descent. The Byers family received a photo of Old Man Clanton from Ike and Finn Clanton, on the back of which they read, Mr. Clanton killed on August 13, 1881, by Mexicans with four other Americans in Guadalupe Canyon, New Mexico. Both men signed the inscription. His body was in a state of decomposition, so he was buried where he fell. The others were transported back by carriage and buried about 10 miles east of Cloverdale, New Mexico. This tragic incident marked the beginning of a deteriorating relationship between the Earp and Cowboy factions, with Behan's participation in King's escape further straining the situation. In 1882, Ike and Finn Clanton exhumed their father's body and moved it to Boot Hill Cemetery in Tombstone where he's buried alongside his youngest son, Billy Clanton, who was killed two months after his father's death in a gunfight at the OK Corral. Please like and share if you find the video content interesting and useful. 
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment below so as not to miss the upcoming interesting videos. Thanks for watching.